Big changes are coming for veterans who want to get an education after they leave the military. You know, for some, balancing life after the service and going back to school is pretty difficult. Nine on your side's Tom McKee spoke to one veteran who knows that experience well. It used to be the veterans had to use their education benefits within 15 years after leaving the service or they would expire. But all that's changed thanks to the new GI Forever bill. Wayne Robertson served in the Army from 1959 to 1962, but never thought about the GI Bill paying for college. Instead, he was a Kenton County police officer when he got out, but left the profession after seven and a half years. Finally, my wife, who was a school teacher, said, why don't you go back to school? The question was how to pay for classes at NKU and Xavier. And our neighbor said, uh, say, you were in the Army. This, did you know this is the last year you can use your GI Bill? I was in the 15th year. I was a first semester freshman at 32. It was different for Alex Volan. She served four years in the Army, but always had her eye on a college degree. At the end of my service, the goal was to get an education and honestly have better employment opportunities. The bill signed by President Trump also extends benefits to Purple Heart recipients and increases them for members of the National Guard and Reserves. I just think it's a really fantastic opportunity for all service members and branches. It is a good thing. I, I don't see how anyone could be opposed to it. At Xavier University, Chris Klug runs the Student Veterans Center. He sees a wide range of ages of veterans who want to further their education. So we have veterans that are 18 years old uh, that are still in the reserves or National Guard, and we have veterans that are 65 that are pursuing a second opportunity. Still, some need to be schooled on what the GI Bill can give to them. Uh, we run into several of these cases every year where a veteran comes to us, they think they're going to have to pay $35,000 a year, and then they find out they get to go to school for free, and they're just elated. Klug spent four years in the Army, and that was his path to a Xavier education. You do have to give a lot to get a lot. It's estimated 200,000 men and women leave the service every year, but only about half use their education benefits. This could change everything. Tom McKee, not on your side at Xavier University. Hmm. That's really good news for all the veterans out there. Yeah. I use my benefits. Yeah. It, it's a great thing that they offer for veterans and people who serve, and it's great to see they're going to extend that time. Isn't that nice? Great, yeah, great that's ways good. to say thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You yeah, know? you're Absolutely. right. Mm -hmm.